don't people think people realize the true sacrifice and you know what you what you have to sacrifice and give up to to get to this point to fully commit to this and uh in, in your early 20s it's a lot of willpower the bodybuilding community was rocked in 2017 with the sudden passing of dallas mccarver at the young age of 26 as a rising star in the industry, he was viewed as a prodigy and celebrated as the next young mass monster emerging from the United States. While his death was undoubtedly heartbreaking, it also shed light on his history of steroid abuse, highlighting the dark side of the sport. Dallas began his bodybuilding career at a young age and quickly gained recognition for his exceptional size and muscularity. Standing at an impressive height of 6'1 and weighing 300 pounds, he achieved his pro card at just 21 years old and went on to win several renowned bodybuilding competitions such as the 2011 NPC battle at the River Championships, 2012 IFBB North American Championships and 2015 IFBB California State Pro. Despite facing tough competition at the 2015 IFBB Olympia weekend, he managed to secure a commendable 13th place. In the following year, he placed 8th at the prestigious Mr. Olympia competition, which was a significant achievement for someone of his age. With his impressive physique and size, Dallas appeared to have a bright future in bodybuilding. However, in March 2017, he suffered a collapse while posing at the Arnold Classic in Australia. He attributed the incident to a respiratory infection slash bronchitis and a lack of proper hydration and nourishment. Although he returned to training soon after, he was understandably embarrassed by the incident and apologized to his fans. Tragically, in August 2017, Dallas was discovered unconscious in his home surrounded by scattered food. It was suspected that he had choked to death. However, his autopsy clearly revealed that he suffered from severe cardiomegaly, an abnormal enlargement of the heart that is often associated with the use of anabolic steroids and human growth hormone, HGH. Shockingly, his heart weighed approximately 833 grams, almost three times the size of a normal human heart that weighs around 300 grams. Even the late Rich Piana, who was 20 years older than Dallas, had a heart that weighed 670 grams, emphasizing the extent of steroid abuse to achieve such remarkable feats at a young age. In addition to hypertrophy of the kidneys and liver, the autopsy report concluded that Dallas passed away due to an unwitnessed acute cardiac event, caused by predisposing factors of severe concentric left ventricular hypertrophy. It was noted that his heart enlargement was linked to chronic use of exogenous steroids and non-steroid hormones. It is crucial to distinguish between naturally occurring cardiovascular diseases and those that arise from chronic use of exogenous hormones, which was the primary factor in Dallas's untimely death. It is a well-known fact that top bodybuilders often resort to using performance-enhancing substances such as steroids to achieve the desired physique. However, it is crucial to understand that the use of such compounds comes with significant health risks and should not be taken lightly. The alleged steroid cycle of the late Dallas McCarver serves as a tragic reminder of the dangers of such substances. According to speculation, Dallas McCarver was taking an extensive array of compounds to enhance his performance and build muscle mass. These substances reportedly included human growth hormone, HGH, at 22 IU per day, fast-acting insulin at 25 IU, 6 to 8 times per day, and long-acting insulin at 100 units in the morning. Additionally, he was reported to be taking IGF-1 at 10 to 15 milligrams per day, which is an extremely high dose for this substance. Other compounds allegedly taken by Dallas McCarver include Anadrol at 300 to 400 milligrams per day, EPO at 7,200 IU per day, Halotestin at 40 milligrams per day, Masteron at 700 milligrams per week, and T3 at 75 micrograms per day. He was also reportedly taking Nandrolone Ester (NPP) at 1,000 milligrams per week and Primobolin at 1,000 milligrams per week, as well as Winstrol at 100 mg milligrams per day. In addition to these substances, Dallas McCarver was also reportedly taking either Nolvadex at 40 milligrams per day or Arimidex at 1 milligram every other day. Furthermore, he was taking Trenhex at 1000 milligrams per week, alongside Tren Ace at 1400 milligrams per week, resulting in a total of 2400 milligrams of Trenbolone per week. 
Finally, he was also taking many other testosterone compounds, including TestD, test suspension and sustenon. To top it all off, in addition, he was using Equipoise, EQ, at 1,200 mg per week, as well as 150 mg of Proviron. If his alleged steroid cycle is accurate, it comes out to an insane estimation of $70,000 a month. The main contributor to the whopping price is the IGF-1, as it is extremely expensive. This is why some people find it hard to believe this was the exact cycle he was taking. It is important to note that the alleged steroid cycle of Dallas McCarver is highly questionable, and maybe exaggerated. However, even if it were accurate, it is crucial to recognize the significant risks associated with using performance-enhancing substances. The truth is, the use of such compounds can lead to severe health consequences, including liver damage, cardiovascular problems, hormonal imbalances, and even death. Additionally, the use of these substances is illegal in many countries and can result in fines and imprisonment. Athletes and bodybuilders must prioritize their health and well-being above any short-term gains they may achieve through performance-enhancing substances.